Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Magnus Carlsen and Levon Aronian. This is a game from the Meltwater to a final 2021. Carlsen had white pieces and he started with d4. Levon Aronian played the knight to f6. c4, e6, knight to c3, bishop to b4, the named so Indian defense. A3, the same ish variation. Bishop takes on c3 check, b takes on c3, b6, f3, knight to c6, e4. And white has an impressive looking center, doesn't he? d6, knight to h3, knight to a5, intending to win the pawn on c4, in some variations. Bishop to d3. Bishop to a6, white to move. How would you defend the pawn? Carlsen played rook to b1. If queen to e2, then knight to b3, and after rook to b1, knight takes on c1. Back to our game, we have rook to b1, queen to d7. Why? What's wrong with knight takes on c4? Why are only and then take the pawn? Well, the pawn is very expensive. Then the queen to a4 check, and after knight to d7, bishop takes on c4. Winning a piece back to our game. We have a queen to d7, queen to e2 now, c5 attacking the white center, Carlsen castle king's side, queen to a4. If the dark squared bishop goes to places, the black queen may take the pawn on a3. Bishop to f4. Threatening bishop takes on d6. No time to take the pawn on a3. Rook to d8. Should white defend the pawn on a3 or play something else? What would you do? Perhaps bishop to g5 comes to mind. Maybe e5. There was a big surprise. Are you ready to see the move? Carlsen played bishop takes pawn on d6. Wow, what a move! Did you see this one coming? Rook takes bishop and now e5 forking two pieces. Rook to d8, pawn takes knight, g takes on f6. d5, bishop takes on c4, queen to e4. Rook takes on d5. Let's take it back. If bishop takes on d3, then queen takes queen. If castling, then queen takes pawn on h7. Checkmate. Back to our game. Rook takes on d5 was played. Black is two pawns up, but his king may not be safe. Which side would you take in this game? I have seen many games in which activity triumphed over the material. The game continued. Knight to f4 attacking the rook. And now, instead of moving the rook, f5 attacking the queen. Queen to e3. Rook to d7. If bishop takes on d3, then knight takes on d5. And after bishop, takes on b1, queen to e5. White stands better back to our game. Rook to d7 was played. Queen to e5, threatening to capture the rook. Rook to f8. White move. What now? Well, some people with the white pieces would find this position a bit difficult to play. What do you think? Perhaps rook from b to d1 would be played. Then bishop takes bishop. There was another surprise. Carlsen played bishop takes pawn on f5. What a move. Bishop takes rook. Why to move? What now? Rook takes bishop. Carlsen played bishop takes pawn on e6. Unbelievable attack. Do you sometimes wish that you can attack? like this. 
f takes on a6, knight takes on a6, knight to c6 attacking the queen, brilliant defending by Aronian, queen to h5 check, rook to f7, for how much longer black can hold the position, that is the question, rook to e1, rook to e7, this is where the game ended, why? What was the reason for player with the black pieces to stop playing? What do you think is the reason for Aronian to stop playing after rook to e7? The answer is very simple. Aronian didn't want to continue playing because he would look very silly if he continued. Why? Well, he didn't continue playing because Carlsen resigned in this position. Believe it or not. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. Knight to g5, bishop to c4, knight takes on f7, rook takes rook check, king to f2, queen to c2 check, king to g3, bishop takes on f7. And I guess we can stop here. Alfred Hitchcock, twist. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.